What's up, Internet? Welcome to the behind the scenes for this video. <laughs> Welcome to the behind the scenes for the video you just watched. <laughs> we usually come up with names for videos at like 5 a.m. the day of uploading. It's not 5 a.m. yet, so you don't get a name yet. So, we missed the 5 a.m. deadline. We still don't have a title. Still don't even have a finished video. So, every once in a while, an idea for a video comes along that's completely inspired by some really cool effect we've learned or figured out. And, as you can probably tell, this one is freezing people and turning them into 3D models. So there's a program out there called Reconstruct Me, which lets you use an Xbox Connect to scan in 3D models of objects and people. It's really cool, and it works perfectly for making a statue of somebody frozen in, in a pose. So I took that and made came up with this concept for like a Medusa-style action scene where people get frozen into statues and then shattered using a program called Rayfire. You probably have never heard of that. You've probably heard of it never. multiple times in our videos. It's pretty sweet. We know this one beach that's surrounded on all sides by cliffs, and it's a great shooting location because you can only get to it by climbing over a bunch of rocks. Yeah, and it's a secret. We can't tell you where it is, though. Apparently, most Californians don't like climbing over rocks, so it's really just us there for the entire day, plus like a one, one or two other adventurers. Yeah, there's so many cool things there. You got like wildlife, you got like dolphins, you got sea lions, you got birds. pelicans, birds of all shapes and sizes. It's amazing. And so it kind of interrupts the shoot because you're basically like half at the zoo and half on a film <laughs> set like all day, so it's really cool. But it's a nice change of pace from the dusty city that we usually suit, shoot in, so. Yeah, we usually suit in it. Suit. The dusty city that we suit in. <laughs> that, was, was, that, was that supposed to be funny? So as you guys can tell, we shoot a lot of our stuff during the daytime so we can use the sunlight to light the scene. That way you don't have to lug around a bunch of lights and find electricity and all that kind of stuff. And you got about 10 hours or so, maybe 12, until you got to kind of wrap it up and you're going to be forced to wrap it up. So I think, I think this is actually the earliest YouTube video we've ever woken up for because we got to the location at 7 in the morning to like just maximize our daylight out there. So yeah, yeah I think it's right go to bed at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., wake up at 10. That's the usual schedule around here. This is just me and Coty. This is just, uh, we really had no idea they were filming. I just happened yeah. to come out here. Yeah, we just rolled up. This is how I usually run the beach in Malibu. Yeah, this so, is how we do. You know what I mean? I run into this guy. He's digging a grave somewhere. Kind of creeped me out a little bit, but. Uh, well, you know what, what do they say? Knock him dead. I'm just yeah. making the plots, dead. getting ready to kill them all, so. Yeah. Whatever, whatever he said. So for this idea, Nico was like, hey, hey, we should make it like it's all like in the 50s and old timey. And I'm like, listen, you can't just do that. And he's like, yeah, hold on. Let me get some real actors in here. Yeah, so we talked to our friends Zach and Koti. And of course, uh, Jake Watson makes another appearance as he does in almost all of our videos. Yeah. And uh, this time it's my turn to uh, do some acting. So I jumped in and Sam shot the piece. Hey, Bill, you good? Fresh, fresh and <laughs> fresh and dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna switch lenses right away. Sam, don't you want to go far back and compress the space? I have to go really far back. Do it. Then I think what, what we should do here, and this will work, then we can work with the two shots they have planned of showing the statue. Uh, we need a shot before that of one of us with our eyes closed, like kind of peeking out. Because we need, we need every, like, to show that everybody's eyes are closed, we haven't revealed what happened yet, and someone peeks out, and the, so it's like, what do they see? Cuts to what they see, you know? Wilson! 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 Anyways, just want to say thanks to Zach and Cody for coming out and taking the time, guys. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Can't wait for, to do more stuff with you. Thanks for letting us download your models into the mainframe. We thank Jake, but we say that every morning, you <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> I hate seagulls. So the workflow we use here for the models is first we took our actors, scanned them in with the Kinect. We tried to make it as good as possible, meaning no holes. The actor had to hold as still as possible so like things didn't shift and get all weird. And no matter what, there's still going to be little holes and you have to go in and clean up the mesh. So if you guys are going to play this program called Reconstruct Me. Which you probably are. Yes, I recommend it. Um, just be aware, if you go outside, you try to do it outside, the sun is blasting mega infrared beams. And your connect is only blasting like mini infrared beams. We were on the beach, we we're gonna like capture all our actors and their poses. So yeah, like, yeah top we're not gonna have to drive all the way back home through like two hours of traffic just to film this little 3D model. And wrong. Wrong. <laughs> we did. Because the sun was blasting too many rays and it was interfering with the connect sensor. 
So anyways, after we had the 3D capture of the models, we had them in the computer, we were set up the scenes, doing our motion tracking, doing some sweet fracturing. Um, I talked to a friend of ours named Anselm. He helps develop Rayfar along with Mir Vadim, um, does some testing and other cool stuff. And he has his own VFX company in, uh, based out of New Orleans. He helped us out with a couple shots. I want to say thanks, Anselm. Huge, huge, uh, huge, huge, huge dude. Huge. <laughs> huge. Thanks. Huge thanks. Huge thanks. You did fantastic work. Anyways, guys, we've been working hard trying to get everything figured out so we can put out more behind the scenes content and more second channel videos on a more regular basis. And this is going to be the start of that. So if you guys haven't subscribed to our second channel, which is what you're on right now, I highly suggest it. It's a good life decision. If you don't do it, you'll probably get stupid and forget everything smart. Don't want that to happen. But whatever. I don't care. Listen. Listen, Internet. Who's there? Listen, Internet. Someone, someone just literally stealthed their way behind us and walked into our kitchen. Anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you liked the video. Uh, we'll have another one in two weeks on our main channel. And meanwhile, stay tuned here on the second channel also. Cool stuff's coming. What you doing, Sam? I have bug bites in a, in a suspicious pattern on my legs. Alright. Is that going to go in the video? Are 100,000 people no. going to see that?